Hey y'all, it's Laura and I'm back with Scrap Timber Day 14. And today we have a sketch that I made and it is a very fun three photo sketch. And I'm going to be scrapping these three adorable photos and quite silly photos of my daughter Sophia and I. And I'm going to be playing with the new Paige Evans Go the Scenic Root Collection, which is I haven't had a chance to dive into yet. I really, really wanted to. I spent a lot of time prepping this collection because there's some gorgeous florals that I just had to fussy cut out. And so I was really excited to dive into it, but at the same time, it's so hard to cut into those 12 by 12 papers. It's so hard because they're so pretty. So I'm doing a small papered layout here is not not a lot of paper on this one but i do get to use my diy embellishments that i made at the end of august and so i'm really really excited about that i got three of them on this layout and i really wanted to show you guys how i use them i don't just make them for the video i don't ever do that if i've made something on video it's because i wanted it it's because i plan to use it or have it in my room i don't ever make anything just for the video so if if you were ever weren't wondering about that, yeah, that's just the way I roll. I don't make projects that have no purpose. Anyway, back to this layout. I have these three really funny photos and also very sweet photos. They are selfies that Sophia and I took together. Now this is a little trick that I use to get my girls to let me take really good pictures of them is to turn the selfie camera on and let them see themselves because I get much better results <laughs> in that scenario than I do with me just putting the camera in their face and putting my phone in their face trying to catch a, a pretty shot. I just find it way easier because they're autistic, because they don't like making eye contact with me, they do like looking at themselves. And so I throw it into selfie mode, let them see themselves, and I get some of the cutest pictures that way. So now I've pulled out some papers from the six by eight paper pad because I don't have a problem cutting into that apparently <laughs> and decide on this gorgeous rainbow paper. So now I've gotten the little top ripped off. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down into a whole bunch of strips because I want to use it for all of these photos for their matting. And if I'm gonna stretch this one six by eight over three photos, I'm gonna have to cut it into strips and do my little trick where I put tape around the back perimeter of the photo and just paper piece it all the way around. So I did leave this part of the video in because I've had a few people ask if I could do that. So I did for this one show you how I put the tape on just the outside edge and then paper piece it all the way around. So for Scrap Timber today, we have some lovely guests. We have Jennifer Gagney, I think that's how you say it. And she goes by Kai's mom on YouTube. And then Gwen Ruck, who goes by Created by Gwen here on YouTube. And then Crafty Maggie is joining us on Instagram. So we have tons of inspiration today, but also don't forget my amazing collaborators, Jess and Katie over at the Scrappy Sisters. If you have not checked out their channel yet, I highly recommend it. The two of them are constantly cracking me up and they have such fab mixed media layouts and cut file layouts. So they have a very different style to mine. And I think that's so much fun. I love to watch people who have a very different style. I find inspiration to challenge myself watching channels like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these all the way around my photos. And I, I'm in my head kind of laughing because I love these photos so much. This layout is actually going to go in the family album and not just Sophia's album because Sophia's album may be full to bursting because she's one of the kids that is willing to let me take lots of photos. And so I have tons of her. Olivia, on the other hand, her twin, who doesn't look anything like her, <laughs> runs as soon as she sees the camera and I have to catch her in just the right mood or catch her off guard to get pictures of her that are really cute. And so it's kind of funny. You will see a lot of Sophia though on my channel because she lets me take photos. She doesn't mind being the star of the show, whereas most of my older kids and Olivia are not thrilled. They're, they're kind of tired of mom taking pictures all the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm trying to soak up this moment because I have a 16 year old and a 14 year old. There is not many more years left of them being in my home and easy to take pictures of. So I'm trying desperately to take advantage of that and catching as many photos as of them as I can, as they will allow, and even getting them to send me selfies that they take because that's better than no photos at all. I'll take them, I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> so here are those three embellishments. I think I made six or seven of them on the video that I made them and I didn't want to go overboard. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to use them and so I've got three on this layout. Now I may have made this sketch with these in mind so it might be a little tricky there. <laughs> <laughs> but I love DIY embellishments. They're a fun little crafty thing to do when you want to play with your supplies, you want to be in your craft space, you want to be creative, but maybe you don't have the mojo to do an entire layout. Or for some people, they do two page spreads. That's quite a bit of time committed to making those two page spreads. And if you want to just do something small and crafty and have some fun, DIY embellishments are great for that. The only thing I would say is don't make hundreds of them because then you won't get to make some later. You'll have so many to use. So I usually do small batches of between five and 10 at a time and then challenge myself to use them in the next month before I make more. So now I've gotten the puffy sticker thickers that came with Go the Scenic Route, and I'm gonna use some of these large hearts behind the smaller hearts. Now, if you recall the sketch from the beginning of the video, they were stars, but there was clusters of stars next to each photo on alternating sides. So up on the top, it's on the right side of the photo, on the second photo, on the left, and on the bottom photo, back on the right. And I am gonna do a little bit of Goldilocks clustering here, where one of the clusters will be large, one of them will be medium, one of them will be smaller, and I just think that's a little bit more interesting so they don't feel exactly the same. And once I get my hearts on here, I also want to add in a couple of the little flowers because I may have fussy cut two full pages of florals, so they needed to make an appearance on this layout. I am going to tuck them in behind the hearts here and uh, just have them kind of popping out like a little surprise there on the side. Just a nice little detail, I think. And I don't add any big florals because I don't want it to overtake the design of the layout, even though they are beautiful. I just want a little, a little touch of floral, just a little touch. It's one of the beautiful things about having three girls is I get to use lots and lots of florals. <laughs> Don't often put them on my boy pages, but if there's a mix of boys and girls on the page, I have no problem putting plenty of florals on those pages. I've also grabbed some of these little word phrase puffy stickers off of that puffy sticker thicker set, and each of them have their own piece. This is to replace the banner that was on the sketch. I even pulled out these really old Chamel thickers to use this friends, and I think that helped hide in the dark navy washi that I put behind the yellow paper. Just kind of brings it together. It also has a nod to the black and white in the photos. The reason these photos are in black and white is because they're not great quality. She was moving while we were taking photos and putting them in black and white can help a lot to up the contrast and make the photo a little better quality. It's also why they are in three by four, because a lot of the photos I take of my girls are of them moving. <laughs> and the smaller the photo, usually the better quality that it is. Now I did wanna add this little foam heart uh, next to one of the photos. Again, just to tie in a little bit of that dark navy somewhere else on the page. Now, as you can see, that cluster down at the bottom right becomes very large. That is my Papa Bear cluster, if you will, from my Goldilocks clustering. And then, of course, I have the medium cluster in the middle and the small cluster at the top. That is a technique that I use fairly often if I do use three clusters. And there's no specific reason for it, as in it's not uh, some special design technique so much as just a personal preference. I just think it's more interesting when the three clusters, if you're gonna use them, are different sizes. I just think it's more interesting to the eye. Now to tie in that DIY embellishment at the top that is punched from gold glitter paper, I decided to go ahead and bring in some more gold glitter hearts and just sprinkle them around my clusters. Now I call this scattering and it's part of the finishing process for me of my layouts. I have a two-step process of where I finish all of my layouts 
layouts with scattering and splattering. Scattering just means adding tiny little details like little stickers or these little gold hearts that I've punched out of glitter paper. And then splattering comes in Nouveau and or Heidi Swap Color Shine to splatter around the clusters as well. It just adds a really nice detail that finishes off the layout for me. That for me takes a layout from, oh, that's really nice to, wow, that looks cool. That's just a personal preference. You don't have to do that, but it is a little rhyme that helps me remember to finish off my layouts the way that I like them best. Now I am almost out of gold nouveau. <laughs> As you can see, I'm having to squeeze that bottle real hard to get it out, but I have ordered some more, so hopefully it will be here soon. A little bit of splattering and we'll be done. I hope you have enjoyed this one and feel free to use this sketch. I'll have it posted in the Scrap Timber Facebook group. Until next time, bye guys.